Hi, I'm John McIntyre and this is Custom Software Advisor. Today I'm going to talk about unit testing and mocking. Unit testing is a concept that has come out about, well, that has gotten popular in the last 10 years. Unit testing is basically taking a small portion of your application, a small component or a small piece of functionality within that component and writing another piece of software, a very small, concise piece of software that will do nothing but check if that, if that piece of functionality in your application is working the way that it should work. And you may create many unit tests for that one piece of functionality to ensure that every possible combination of scenarios is tested for. This will help ensure that the application works as expected. Many people even write the test before they actually write that piece of functionality. This way, when they write the functionality, they will only write enough to pass the test, therefore meeting specs, and not doing anything extra thereby saving money, saving time and money. One of the really cool things about unit testing is there's a lot of unit testing frameworks that have come out which will run all these little applications that test the functionality in your applications. They will run them all together and they, when each one returns as a pass or fail, it will count the passes and fails and it will basically light up a light up a gauge while the tests are running and if they're all passing the entire gauge will be green until one of them fails and it will turn red this gives really good feedback but the big power in automated in automated unit testing is after the application is completed or even during development when you want to change an existing piece of functionality you can feel free to change it knowing that if you mess something up or if you miss something or you inserted a bug the unit tests will catch it and when one of the tests fails you can go in and you can see why it failed and you can fix you can fix whatever problem that you added or whatever whatever thing you might have missed. This gives the programmer an amazing amount of confidence and allows them to work much, much faster. Unit tests do cost time and effort to set up. However, the long run, especially if you're planning to maintain an application, for example, any enterprise application, will be maintained and grow over life, over its lifespan. And this gives you an amazing, an amazing productivity boost. Now let's say you have a piece of software functionality that sends emails. And, he, and the programmers set up unit tests for these. And there might be multiple unit tests for every email functionality. And every piece of functionality might be testing, sending multiple email addresses. And you may have multiple programmers who are running these unit tests several, several times a day. Now you obviously don't want these emails going out for every test, but how else do you test it? Well, for this, they've created mocking, something called mocking. And what mocking allows a programmer to do, it allows them to mock up or basically create a fake resource, for example, email or files or database or whatever. You can create a fake resource and manipulate how that resource will enter will interact with your program. So for example, if you were to create a unit test for your emailing functionality, 
instead of passing in the actual emailing resource or the program or piece of functionality which would actually send out the emails what you could do is you could create a mocked up emailing resource and you can manipulate that mocked up resource to perhaps store the email addresses that it should be sending that it would normally be sending then what you can do is pass in your mocked up email resource into your application during your test and it would interact with the mocked up email resource instead of the actual true email resource thereby providing providing your application with the email resource it needs in order to complete the test but without actually doing any damage you could also test what should have been sent after the fact after the application returns normal then you can go and check what emails would have actually been sent if had it been attached to the true email resource mocking adds several benefits for example you don't actually interact with true resources so you're not using the resource you're not taking it away from somebody else you don't have to set up a secondary resource just for testing you are not actually performing the work for example sending out the irritating emails and it greatly speeds things up because usually these resources are very time intensive but mocking is a small component that does next to nothing so it usually happens bam in a flash so you can whip through 700 tests in like less than a minute it's really amazing anyway unit testing and mocking are really powerful concepts that have come about recently I'm sure your developers are using it if they're not you may want to you may want to engage them in it uh, setting up unit setting up unit testing in existing legacy applications can be very complex and require a lot of refactoring so you may want to consider what you want to unit test for example problem areas or core pieces of functionality but you may not want to refactor your legacy application for unit testing in its entirety it just may not be worth the uh, worth the effort and the ROI could be low but any new application I would strongly suggest adding unit testing if you're not already using it and mocking just makes unit testing so much easier and it removes most of the problems that that programmers have traditionally had with unit testing anyway I hope you enjoy this video please comment below or send an email directly to me via my website via the contact page on my blog and uh, I look forward to hearing from you my name is John McIntyre and this is customsoftwareadvisor.com thanks